two months, guys. We have officially been open for 60 days now. And it's going about as expected, right? There were some setbacks. Um, we had a, a lot of weather issues with the wrap, so we were open for almost a month before we were even really advertising. Really trying to just figure out my day-to-day, -day, guys. My day-to-day -day with my home life, with running the guides, and now operating a shop. It's been tricky. I'm starting to kind of figure things out. Things are starting to level off. If you have followed our journey over the years or you know us personally, you know that I have a different idea almost every week. Something to either expand on the business or improve on the business. And I have to slow down, guys. I got to get this going first before I bring in any other ideas. One thing I have realized is I am not going to get rich selling tackle. The focus needs to be on the guide service. I'm just too small of an operation to float my household with products, buying and selling products. But I also wanted to give the surf anglers in the area a convenient spot to swing in, grab some tackle, grab some frozen bait. Dropping this shop at the entrance of Johnson Beach wasn't cheap, but it is convenient. And we have been overwhelmed with the local support, the in and out customers, the repeat customers we get, just the conversations we're having day to day about surf fishing. Also, we have the luxury of bringing in smaller companies because we have the shelf space. We're a new operation, so our walls weren't already filled. So these smaller companies that are trying to get seen, we're trying to give all those guys a chance. And at the same time, supporting the companies that have supported us over the years. And the shop has also given me the opportunity to really take a look at the relationships I do have and did have. Product for promotion deals, sponsorship deals, really digging into those things and doing what's right. Not only for what's right with us, but for people watching, our followers. And the shop has done that for us. It's given us the opportunity to give a 100% non-biased opinion of products. And the guides. We are booking guides, guys. We have ran 31 guides in the last 60 days. It got tricky a few times with dates, but we've been able to manipulate the calendar to fit everyone in so no one was double booked or had to postpone a guide. But we also understand by next season, we will need to hire some folks, some, some folks for the shop and for the beach. And that's the goal, growth and to be able to provide employment for a few folks in the community. And this was 100% why we did not open this business during season. We knew it was going to be busy and we didn't want to run into issues. By waiting till after summer vacation, it gave us a nice, slow transition into the business, figuring out our day-to-day -day lives, thunder, and working out all the kinks before season kicks up 2025. We got the doors open today, guys. We are in fall weather for sure. Got my drone back from Swell Pro. It's been out of commission. So we're gonna strap one of these Redfin Fishing drone leaders on there see what this guy's all about swell pro was great um i had some calibration issues for sure like if i told the drone to go up it went right if i told it to go down it went up like it was scary guys this one with the extra batteries and all that i think it's around 18 1900 value um flying over the gulf of mexico not listening to your commands is very nerve-wracking <laughs> <laughs> it's like I did not think I was gonna get it back. So reached out to Swell Pro, let them know what was going on. They gave me an address which was in the United States, Texas, if I remember correctly. Sent it over there and then they worked on it. They worked on it and they sent me updates the whole time they had it. They were sending me video of flying it, video of them working on it. Just an excellent customer service with those guys. I got it back about two weeks later and they had just completely replaced the remote control they said there was issues with the remote so they just gave me a new one and i had a crack in one of my arms here 
a crash landing that happened a while back. I had cracked one of those and they replaced it for me. And I didn't even mention that. They just saw it and went ahead and replaced it. Super happy with Swell Pro, guys. If you're looking to get into drone fishing and you're looking at these models or really anything that Swell Pro has to offer in the drone category, um, the code does not work for like accessories and things like that. But I do have a code for you guys for the drone. Um, I work with Swell Pro. Obviously, I got two drones here. One is for the shop where we do test flights. So if somebody's interested in getting a drone, they want to try it out, they can schedule a flight with me. I take them out, let them get a feel of it. And then if they want to purchase, I give them a code and I think it saves around 300 bucks. So that's a huge savings, guys. So if you are interested in that, reach out to me and we can get something set up. But Jason from Redfin sent me these drone leaders a while back and I've been wanting to get one on but I hadn't had a drone. I really want to see how this thing works. Like what makes it a drone leader? So right off jump, I'm just noticing how well this thing is made. Jason does great work, guys. He really does. I have always been impressed with Redfin. They're Spudniks. I think it's safe to say, guys, and this might make some people mad, but Redfin has got the best Spudnik on the market. He really does, in my opinion. But guys, Jason's like two ounce Spudnik will hold like a three ounce Spudnik. It really will. And they last forever. They look good. I know that's not like a big deal. Like, you know, it's lead, right? But when you're buying and selling product, you know, you like, you want your product to look good <laughs> that you're selling, especially a Spudnik. You know, those guys are 550 here, but they can get up to six, $6, even $7 in some places. So if you're about to spend $7 on a weight that you might lose, a bluefish will break you off or something like that, you at least want it to look good. Jason's look awesome. So right off the bat, great quality. And this is like a fish finder style leader, right? This thing is gonna be able to move around. You got a very long piece of mono, which I like because getting in those bigger fish especially sharks you want to be able to leader it right and if you got like a little short piece of leader like where you're around your braid you're gonna get cut man we're talking about a heavy fish so just plenty of rope here to really grab a hold of this guy and to get a hold of him so a you can either get him on sand if it's legal if it's a legal species or b just kind of control it so you can get in the water to get him unhooked look at the quality there guys Beautiful leader, Jason. Beautiful leader. And this is what makes it the drone leader. So you have two feet of mono here that comes off the top. And this is actually what you're gonna connect your drone to. You can see here with the two barrel swivels, here's your main line that runs all the way down to your hook. Then you got this little two foot piece hanging here with the loop, and that's gonna connect to the bottom of your unit. And this is what I had on it. This is a Frisky Fins Yakking with Jack castable shark leader. So obviously it's a lot shorter, right? I'm at tip to tip right here, just with an arm spread. But it's designed that way for casting, not necessarily drones. Now, I've been attaching this to my drone for months. You can see this one has been used. It has been chewed on. I've pulled in two sharks with this so far and it's still going guys. This is also a great leader, just a different style leader. You can also find these guys at the shop. So this is for you guys that don't have drones. Maybe you're wanting to get into this, but again, you can use this for drones too, I do, but you don't have so much leader to grab onto and you don't have that handy little two foot section to attach to the bottom of your drone. You kind of got to use the barrel swivel or really whatever you can find on the leader to do it. So the Swell Pro, the Fisherman Max model, will hold up to eight pounds, guys. That is a big bait and weight, right? So this is a 10 ounce pyramid, red fin fishing. Again, just the quality in this guy's lead. So that's gonna hold. That's gonna hold pretty much any conditions in the Gulf of Mexico, y'all. All right, everything seems to be working. We're gonna let this guy connect. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it or not. It's pretty glary out here, but there's a little satellite icon right there. It's at 14, just changed to 15. You want this guy up into the 20s. 
when I first got this drone, I was turning it on and I was trying to connect it, blah, 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 blah. And I could never really get it to work correctly. Talking to Swell Pro, it's like, it's gotta find a satellite, right? So once you got everything turned on, it's gonna start trying to ping this satellite. I guess that's the closest one to us. I'm not really sure, but you want that number to be up in the 20s. So we just hit 20. Let's wait a little bit longer and see what happens. We're in a nice open area here. So it should be able to find it pretty easily. So we got the payload. I'm gonna take your little two foot leader here. Hook him into the payload opening. Close that payload. And now he is connected. Close my bell here. So now, while this guy is flying, he'll have all your bait and your weight hanging way down. And then the actual leader is connected by this little two foot piece here. Awesome, very well designed. I don't know a lot about drone fishing, but for me, that makes perfect sense. Seems safer, like you're not gonna get stuff twisted up in the blades. I like it. All right, let's see if I can pull this off. So you're connected, I'll show you guys what it's connected to. This little guy here, and you can actually connect two lines to that. I never have. It just looks like a disaster waiting to happen for me, but there is a way to do it where you can zoom out two lines at once. You fly this guy out, and once you get him where you want him, oh, I don't know if I can do this or not, you would release payload, and it drops the line. So that's how you get your bait out there, guys. Remote control low battery. I know you got low battery. You told me six times already. Now with this leader though, because it's so long, you're not gonna be able to leave it on there. Uh, it's just too long. That barrel swivel is gonna hit the eyes before you can connect it to anything. So this is gonna be one of those things where if you're like me and like to leave everything rigged up, you're gonna have to rig this up each session. I drone fish with a 6,000 and an 8,000 depending on the distance. With an aluminum body, Daiwa BG, 50 pound braid on both those guys. And then I have two 12 foot Frisky Fins custom rods that I attach those to. Those are my drone fishing setups. I'm just gonna throw this drone leader right down here in the case. This is the only time it'll be used. So we'll keep it right in there, maybe even that weight. Yes, sir. Drops right down in there. And we're good to go. And I do add one more thing to that leader. It's nothing that's gonna make or break you, but it could attract more bites. Like you don't need it to drone fish or to drone fish with that leader. It's just something extra. But I was sworn to secrecy. My buddy showed me this little trick and he showed me but with the stipulation that I never put it on camera. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna honor that. I think we're gonna start getting more into the drone stuff. I wanna draw more attention to the guides. I know about all the legal aspects of the drone fishing that I can do around here. I know the beaches that I can do it safely at. It's not like I'm giving the remote control to clients. You know, I'm handling all that. And I do know some actual like shark fishermen guys that do this a lot that are willing to help me get going. So you guys will probably start seeing that in the future here to our list of services on the website, drone fishing.